the Senior Director for Seed Health and Trade for the American Seed Trade Association. And I'm here to briefly describe a new program called the National Seed Health Accreditation Pilot Program, or NSHAP for short. This is a new pilot program that is being uh, operated by APHIS uh, in, in, in a partnership with the uh, vegetable seed industry. It's based on voluntary compliance requirements. So in other words, uh, uh, this program is being designed uh, so that uh, current practices that are used by the industry for seed quality relative to one particular pathogen uh, are going to be recognized. And the pathogen that this uh, pilot program focuses on is cucumber grain model mosaic virus, or CGMMV for short. companies that produce host seed for cucumber green model mosaic virus, primarily uh, cucumber, melon, watermelon. Why is the advantage of the companies to participate in this program? First of all, uh, ultimately they will be subject to less frequent testing by the government regarding this particular disease. And so the whole idea again is to recognize practices that our companies are currently employing to keep CGMMV out of their seed supply. And so we're demonstrating the, the, the value and the efficacy of, of industry self-regulation versus the need for the government to impose additional regulations for seed imports. Why should uh, these companies participate now? First of all, the more participants in the program, the more successful the program can be, uh, can be to, eva to be evaluated. In other words, the larger the sample size, the larger the candidate pool, uh, the more robust the information will be that we can glean out of the program. And uh, if the program is successful, if it meets the uh, intents and needs of both the industry and the government, it, uh, we will explore continuing the program and hopefully expanding it to cover uh, other crops and disease combinations, in particular for seed transmitted diseases. Those are the diseases that uh, can you know, have no visual uh, uh, symptoms on, on seed. And so they're very difficult, if not impossible, to detect in incoming seed into the U.S. Also, <clears throat> we're working with APHIS to figure out how best for companies to, to uh, market themselves uh, uh, in this program, where they can market themselves as a preferred provider or go to their customers and say, you don't have to worry about our seed for CGMMV because uh, that particular pathogen has already been taken care of. It's not in our seed supply according to the program that we're participating in on behalf of APHIS. So what's required of, of our participants? First of all, all you have to do is sign a voluntary compliance agreement that can be terminated at any time. So if you get into the program, you don't like how it's working, how you think it's too onerous, or it's just not fitting into your business model, all you have to do is tell APHIS that you want out of the program. So there's no risk, basically, to you. Uh, secondly, to test uh, for the presence of CGMMV using approved methods or labs outlined on the website on all seed types covered in the program. So all you have to do is go to the website, which is, on, which is the National Seed Health System website that's operated by Iowa State University, and there's a whole page on there that talks about this program, gives you all the details you need, and uh, what seed testing methods are uh, approved uh, in the program, and what laboratories are approved. And one thing that makes this unique is APHIS is recognizing uh, some labs that are currently not in the National Seed Health System. For example, the Nactenbau Laboratory over in the Netherlands, where a lot of European-based companies actually do testing for CGMMV. So, and also if you have a, a, pro, a laboratory of your own in your company, it will be very simple comparatively to get that lab certified by APHIS under this program. And so then the other thing you have to do, of course, is resort, uh, report results of all your tests to APHIS. And APHIS has developed a, a way to uh, easily, uh, for you to provide that information. Uh, you, you can provide it in aggregate form. So. If you tested 200 seed lots of a certain species for CGMMV uh, and they're all negative, that's basically what your report says. However, if you do have a positive, you have to provide exact data, which is already a, requir a requirement 
uh, by, Everson, by Everson Plan Protection Act. Uh, the nice value of this program is if they find CGMMV in some of your seed, it's not going to shut the entire uh, import program down for your company or the industry at large. They take the least restrictive action. They just want to find out uh, through trace forwards and trace back where that, uh, what that seed represents in the, in the supply chain and mitigate it there and uh, keep, uh, keep seed imports and seed trade moving. So we believe this is, this is a great opportunity, a great program to test and uh, to try new innovative ways where we can find win-wins for the seed industry at the same time uh, uh, keeping uh, new and exotic pests and diseases out of the U.S. seed supply. Thank you very much. Thank you.